I thought that's a pony right there. Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome Welcome to my, my basement. You can you can actually fully see it now in the background because for some reason I decided to just make my camera as wide as possible. Anyway, we're playing the Pony Factory. So I'd like to read the note next to it and then we're just gonna go ahead and play it. Listen, Doc, I don't need a reason to be scared of horses. They are big, moody, and can kick your teeth in. I saw plenty of that firsthand when the when the plants just uh, stopped. And when we just had to sell something. After a while, we, we just had to eat something. The cows were easy to deal with, first to go. The hogs were a bit harder, but the horses, it's, it's like they knew. Couldn't get them to go willingly. Ended up having to do them right in the barn. Now, you know how many people it takes to carry a dead horse a hundred yards to the slaughterhouse? Oh, well, I do. Well, let's go ahead and eat some horses, because that's not my first rodeo with a furry game. Just kidding, it is not a furry game. Uh, Vsync on, thank you. I would like to record. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the Pony Factory. Do you know how many people it takes to carry a dead horse to the slaughterhouse? Exactly. I'd like to begin. Winston arrived at a solution to the moral decay of his town. He called out to Hells in a secret candlelit room one evening, and Hell answered him. The human body could, Hell promised, be twisted, stretched, and broken into a kinder, more equine shape. The human heart molded into something less human. Winston's town, now filled with the cruel and the ignorant, could instead be filled with magic ponies, if he could provide a factory in which to make them. Winston thought they could be beautiful, gentle, and good. Hell had other plans though. Hell always does. Alright, here we go. I like the like, uh... The music in the background. Feels like space invading, invading us. Yes, the entire space. Anyway. Um... Man, I don't know, I just feel so excited. You can see the excitement on my face. If you wonder why I'm excited, and no, it's not because my voice is a bit muffled. I don't know, but... Uh, my nose is sometimes acting up, so whenever it does, my voice sounds a bit, um... Crunky. I'm... I'm not sure... I'm looking for the word to describe it, but I'm not sure what, which word I'm even looking for. Uh, I do have zero bullets, though. Explains the clicking. I don't have that, uh... I don't know, fidget spinner, whatever you use. Uh, there is like a little cube with buttons on it, you can, instead of fidget spinners. Which sounds like a better alternative, really. But anyway. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, the review video I've been working on has been full steam ahead. Uh, I did so much work on it. Uh... But here comes the bad news. There is always some bad news. Uh, even though I put a lot of work into the review video, it's it's probably gonna come out in three months from now. I'm happy to kind of give you a date, but um, it is what it is. You know, I've I, I'm working on it hard. Um, my friend who I've talked to, who goes to university to learn about managing uh, employees. Or something like that. He's like his first year, but he told me that um, according to, you know, whatever he learns there about productivity of uh, employees, I'm showing heavy signs of burnout. So, uh, and sadly, burnout is not something that can go away with just a vacation. So, you can leave your comments of take a break, because uh, taking a break does not just make burnout go away like that. It has to do something with. Um, is that a gun? Oh! It has to do something with working better. So, um... Uh, he kinda gave me tips and helped me out uh, setting up my work schedule in general. Cause think about it this way. Uh, after I record the video, I need to edit the video. And then I need to go and do uh, some hard animations. 
like just go hard at it with animations for the review video, right? And obviously I need to be productive and creative when I do the animations. And sadly, after I do the video and record a video, uh, after I record a video and edit a video, I lose productivity. Anyway, I haven't seen any ponies around by them. I haven't seen a million dollars around. Comedy, everyone. <laughs> Alright, I think I heard a little gobber around here. I don't think I see no gobbers, but I definitely heard him. Um, okay. So, man, what a cool idea. Dread X Collection. I kind of neglected to mention that this is a part of Dread X Collection. I thought maybe the title screen would give it away. <laughs> But uh, I did neglect talking about it. It sounds like such a cool idea to have 10 games by 10 different horror developers cramped into a single package, you know? Sounds really damn cool, honestly. Now, uh, just checking around to see which door it is I gotta go through, and I believe it's over there. Uh, seems like everything else is blocked. Look for the unlocked door to complete each area. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm about to complain about some, I don't know, it doesn't feel like the mouth, uh, the mouse is moving. Is It feels like there is a little bit of input lag, but I feel like I'm just complaining. Um, and, and, you know, blaming the game before I even suck at it, you know? Kinda sucks to suck. I guess this is what I'm looking for. Hold left mouse to fire the bolt gun. Uh, press R to reload, keep on the lookout for ammo pickups. Like these? Okay. So, do I just go for the head? Do, do pony even take headshots? I thought that's a pony right there. Okay, I think it's safe to say... Uh, I don't know if it's safe to say, but I'm pretty sure I hit him a bunch of times in the head. Um, he did explode into multiple pieces though. And I was also right about the pony being somewhere in this room. You know, this is amazing firework, but at the same time... I'll just walk very slowly. Yeah. Uh... Hold on, is this, um... Not to turn off the mechanism in any way? Well then. I hear that. I, I, I'm pretty sure I hear breathing. I don't see anything in the darkness, though. Well, okay. Nah, that's not gonna work, is it? It might? Oh, it did work. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna shift one. I can't even see anything. I, I know there is someone around the corner, by the way. Pick up medkits to b regain lost health. Over there. That is nice. Okay. I, I had a feeling like something is gonna come out from over here, but then I was like, well, there is another door, so... I'll just watch this angle while I, while I take this medkit. Another medkit? Oh, just in case I got hit there. Just in case, um... Yeah, just in case that actually fooled me. <laughs> you know, I took the med kit and I took a hit. Nah, -uh. I was ready for him. I can't jump. Man, it feels sucks. So suck. <laughs> I, I can't see over it. I'm so small. There you go. Uh, not gonna lie, I am enjoying this game a lot. Shooting things have not existed in any other game I've played recently. So, um... Feels nice. Flashlight, finally. Hello there, buddy. Uh, press right my ma to swap between... Oh, what do we do about this guy? 
<laughs> like, are you just gonna stand there for no reason? You think I don't see you? I have a flashlight, dummy. If you're running low, you can backtrack and search for hidden health and ammo. Oh! I might be running a little bit low. You know, just a tiny bit. <gasps> oh, there we go. So it's really easy to miss. I see another ammo can over there. Oh, no, that, that's just tape. I almost loaded tape into my gun, guys. It is fine, though. It is fine. Uh, I do, I do need a little bit of health. Oh, I, it didn't even restore all my health. Okay. That's one dead pony. This is for all my little pony EXE games I played back when I was 16 years old. I, I finally show them. This is what you get for terrorizing me. Alright. I hear something on my right. I guess I'm... Sound blind? I don't know. Anyway. Um... Probably just... You think I don't see you? You think you're a statue? You're camping so hard. You Shut the, get the hell out of here. Anyway, probably the scariest thing you can do in this game is to spawn enemies behind me. Because I hear it and I kind of don't believe it kind of deal, you know? Because I'm like, well... Well, I didn't see anybody behind, but I do hear them coming. Kind of deal, you know? I think you know what I mean. Anyway, I have 49 bullets. Uh, I'll take the health, because I, I don't have full health yet. Anyway, there's a door to my right. Ho! Oh. Hello? This guy has a gun! Okay, this guy had a gun. <laughs> I don't see anybody down there. Ammo. That is great. I don't think I can move any of the valves, though. Alright, let's keep on looking around. Oh, this is a trap for sure. <laughs> I'm watching this as if like I'm playing Counter-Strike. Checking my damn corners, making sure I'm not getting flanked. I think I need to relax a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Oh, I think I'm so smart thinking I, I heard somebody from behind. Anyway, I'd like ammo. This door is locked. Damn, there is a lot of locked doors here. Alright, they're just gonna move on ahead. Hello? There's somebody in this room, I know it. I don't know, I just had a gut feeling. I mean, big rooms are not big for no reason. It's not like the developer was like, oh yeah, you know what my horror game needs? A big ass room. Yeah, that's something developers don't just do for no reason. By the way, this is an ammo can. It's just saying. Damn, I'm so good at this horror game. Okay, next area. More bullets. Oh, I'm ammo full. Well, I know where to backtrack now. It means I can go more trigger happy, I guess. There's somebody over here. Damn, I love... I, I like this music. I don't know why. Where'd he go? Oh! He was waiting for me to reload! Damn, he's smart. He was waiting for me to reload. He actually took cover. He was like, damn, this guy has a loaded gun and he's not messing around. I know. I'll wait for him to reload. Damn. They probably ta taught that in like a... I hear somebody. Was that me? No. I hear running behind this wall. By the way, there is ammo in this room. Uh, I just saw it. I don't recall exactly where. Oh, there it is. Right there, just in case. So, uh, we know there is somebody to my left here. Probably the door will fire in bursts to maintain accuracy or get up close. 
Um, I mean, I would do that, but they were getting too close for me. So I just burst because it hits most of the time. Oh, hello. But in range, it, uh, it definitely hits. There you go. Okay, I'm glad he gave me that tip. Uh, even though I, I kind of know it, but... You know, that's just me showing off my uh, good aim. And... There you go. Uh, you know what? I think I'll backtrack. You know, a part of fun of this game is backtracking. Uh, so I will. And, um, yeah, that... I still hear somebody. There we go. So, like I said, my, my aim is pretty good. I, I know the general aiming and stuff. I was, uh... I don't want to sound... You, you actually saw me, like, ducking, trying to take cover. What the hell, dude? But yeah, I mean, I I think it was, like, a Eagle Master at Counter-Strike. Not to, not to sound nerdy or anything, but, you know, I know my way around a gun and uh, flashbangs. <laughs> Look at that little medkit. It, think, it, it thinks it can hide from me. It really thinks it can hide from me. By the way, is there somebody up there? I can't see. Anyway, how many, much health do I get back? 25? I think so, so there is no need need for me to actually use a medkit. Oh, it's just electricity. I thought it's like actual enemies. Alright, let me check the rest of this area. Another medkit? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Alright, sure. Sure. Use cover to avoid projectile damage. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Oh, I didn't see him. There we go. I know I should probably go back and get the ammo back there, but... Come on, dude. Come on. I can only backtrack so much. Not saying I won't, but you know, there is a lot of ammo here anyway. By the way, I think you see me do this. This is a thing I did before. I just kind of take a peek and then see if somebody takes the shot at me. You know? this guy. There he is. There we go. I'll take this ammo. There is some health. You know what? Maybe I just smack I should just maximize my health cuz I'm just going past so much health by by the at this point. So I don't see a reason why not to pick it up. All right. Next to area, please. Damn. Who would have thought a, a game of El Ponus I would actually like genuinely? I genuinely. God damn it. He got too close. But, um. A pony game I genuinely like. The heck? I see you coming. God damn it. He still uh, hit me. Okay, um, I did lose a bunch of health. Can't use the door back. I can take some ammo. Sure. Reload my gun. I'm not even sure what kind of gun I have. Another ammo behind this uh, machinery. Cool. I don't recall if I've seen a... I see another one. No, it probably just sparks. Yeah, that's right. By the way, is there any uh, health? No, there is ammo. So yeah, I think it should just go a bit more trigger happy. Not that it's spamming would guarantee more kills, but... Oh, hello. Okay, see, I, I'd rather release more bullets than uh, let him hit, let him, letting him hit me. Because there is so much ammo around. There is another magazine over here, another one down there. Some health. 
door lock, though. Alright. Where's this guy? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. He's dead. I should probably reload my gun. I hear another one up there. Come on, take the shot, buddy. I can't see his head. Come on, dude. God damn it, dude. He has the high ground. I'm trying to hit his head, but it, I, I can only see a faint silhouette of it. Actually, it feels like my shots are going through his head, frankly. I'll get- I'll get close. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather shoot at that point. Um, something really unique about this game is, uh, the- the light mechanic, seems like. Cause, uh, you can't have your flashlight while also having your gun out. And you can see around by taking shots. So, these are all taken into consideration when you engage, and that's really cool, I think. I don't see anybody over there, so I wonder what's down there. Um... Yeah, I don't see anybody through this small gap, too. Yeah, this is just a random ammo room, seems like. We have some health. Uh, I'll take the health, why not? I think I get 25 back, so... I don't lose any potential health here. Okay, cool. Let's go on ahead. Who knew that all it takes to carry a dead horse around a slaughterhouse is a single gun? Single man with a gun. Okay. Oh, that's a staircase. Locked. Okay, cool. Just uh, taking a little look around, as you can see, there is uh, ammo within the bucket. Um, I don't see any more ammo, though, but I think we are loaded. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Damn, so this is a bit of a problem, because enemies can get real close. Uh, before I can switch my gun out. There is blood over there, see? that? what happened to the last guy who was just going down with his, uh, flashlight. We're descending into madness, guys. This is a representation. Always check underneath staircases. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I know. This uh, place is loaded with enemies. Just come out. Come out, guys. Are you serious? There is nobody here? What? This is a big room! Okay. That's fine. That is completely fine. Which door should I try, though? Not this one. Not that one, too. Well... I guess we go through here. Alright. There has to be somebody in this room, come on. Oh, now the anticipation is just... What the hell was that sound? He didn't just die, he died dead. Like, there was a sound when he died. There was like a... Was that good? <laughs> I guess that was a boss battle. Damn. I'll just itch my temple. Alright. Hello, buddy. There you go, just take the shots before he, he gets really a chance to do anything. Okay, I mean that corridor was just a long corridor with no uh, much of cover, so... Just swing. Just wing it. Alright, this is a pretty big room. I think we are getting to the showdown of this place. Damn, this has been a fun ride for sure. This has been very cool. This is pretty cool. Oh, there is red light, guys. Finally, a room with light in this game. Okay, what's within the room? 
<laughs> I was expecting a pony with a Tommy gun, honestly. I'll just doink that. Bye bye. All right. Don't see anything else here, though. I, I think I can drop my uh, flashlight because there is light here. Yeah, there, there is generally a lot of light. Oh, it's it's a statue. It's statues. Pretty cool statues. Okay. The thing you see lies at the heart of the pony maker. I like that name, pony maker. Ha. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to see if he detects movement. He doesn't. He seems safe. See? I know, I'm smart. I, you can tell I have... This is not the first time I've done it. Is that what you've been searching for? Take it. I will. I teleported. You have what you came for. Now escape. I will. Just taking my time, as I can't exactly see a lot. I'll take the ammo, thank you. Alright. Um, sorry for being silent, I'm actually trying to focus. <laughs> I'm actually trying uh, to see what's up ahead. You think I don't see you? You think I don't check my corners? What do you take me for, a noob? Me? Dude. Alright, so... Yeah, that door is locked. So I think it's, uh, it's a good idea that I've actually didn't just uh, take all the ammo that I've seen. Because now when I'm backtracking, I have still a lot of ammo to go through. Okay. Just uh, slowly take this. Ah, uh, he still hit me. He got me. But still... We are still doing it. There is light in this room. Hold on, I dropped down. God damn it, this guy just rushed me. That kind of spooked me. What do you think you are? A melee character? You're not a melee character. There is like the ponies on all four that are c clearly just melee enemies. But then uh, there is the shooters. So uh, he had to like... Wait a second, I can't hit him until I load my shot. Yeah, smart one, pony man. Alright, I'm just gonna get back up there. Anyway, um... Oh, there is two magazines right here. Well, whatever. I don't care. Now it means I don't have to backtrack down there if I need more ammo. Yeah, he's a big guy, so I just went for it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about my review video. Um, uh, hopefully in the next few days I'll have even more workflow. I hear you, you know that? I don't see him. I'm trying to get rid of one of them. Okay, that's one. Now I have the high ground. There we go. Uh, I have no more ammo though, so I'm just gonna backtrack. See, now we don't have to go all the way down the stairs. I can just go ahead and nab one of these uh, ammos. And by that, I mean two of them. 
But yeah, um, like I said, uh, in, the new, in the next few days, I'm expecting to, I guess, increase my effic efficiency at which I work at. On By the way, um, I'm used to enemies coming from behind me. That's why I was perfectly on him when I turned around with a gun. Um, you can play around with your sensitivity, and usually when you turn all your mouse around and you're directly behind, then it means the sensitivity is just right. Um, that way you can, uh, you know, have good aim and also make sure you cover your behind. I sound like a nerd, I know. But still... Just some general knowledge for you, uh, trying to go into shooting games, I guess. By the way, I am injured. There we go. Ammo. <laughs> just, just ammo. Damn. I sniffed it with my nose. Finally, my nose is good for something other than snot. Alright, I guess I'll take, uh, the ammo. I, I know there was an ammo in the crate over there, but the developer went through the trouble of putting ammo right here, so might as well take it, buddy. We are going back. Well, there is not a whole lot of way to go back now, since we have made most of the way back. Um, what, should I just go through here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like this music, again. Oh, whoa! Both sides! Okay, you're dead. Alright, they, they, they came from both sides. That was pretty funny. But yeah, it just shows you you gotta be careful around every corner. Ah, I'll take it once I reload one more time. There is also ammo down there, too. Hello? You're dead. He's dead. Alright, I'm gonna go back and take the ammo. Oh, by the way, if I haven't mentioned already, if uh, some of you heard, hear about this review video for the first time, uh, I'm working on a review video for Irisu Syndrome. Uh, it's a physics puzzle game. And, uh, there is a lot of health right here. I wonder if there's gonna be a battle. Well... I meant like a boss battle. I'll get the small ones first. There you go, I wanted to get the small ones first. The heck was that? Oh, that's uh, my gun running out of ammo, I think. It's a bit hard to shoot you, buddy. But I will do it. Stop moving! Oh, you stop for one second and you're dead, buddy. Let me tell you that. Moving around at the speed of sound, he thinks he's Sonic, but then the moment he stops, he's dead. There you go, don't want to get too close to the electricity. Uh, that's about it. I think I see some more ammo right here. I could have even potentially went over here and shot them. I had a better angle. Uh, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, there is three health kits around here overall. It's pretty cool. Hello? <laughs> this is why I just check around corners. Still hit me. Alright, alright. Um, see, this is why you check around corners. I, um, if I looked back, I could have just went through the, the door no problem, but I was... Um, I guess I panicked, because I kept my, uh, you know, my, uh, my gun over there, looking at that direction. Because if I made it past this door frame, like, it's easy, it's just like, um, I have cover here. So he took a lot of damage. But still, the idea still stands about being smarty pants. More health! Are you kidding me? More health! 
Okay, so that sound is definitely just the electricity above, not, uh, I thought I heard steps before. Anyway, this is like the entrance, right? Okay, just checking around my corners. I don't remember this. Whatever. Oh, he still hit me. I wasn't shooting fast enough. I guess I always hesitate when I go like uh, ham with bullets. I should probably reload. Oh, I did. Oh wait, no, I do remember this place. Okay. I thought uh, this is like new, but it isn't. I just haven't made it out yet. Damn, just looking around my corners. Wasn't there a pony here last time? I don't remember. I'll take this, and I don't see any ammo in here. Yeah, I don't see anybody. I don't see ammo either, too. Okay, this is a perfect haul for just melee guys. No? No melee? <laughs> I practically made this game. <laughs> this is the perfect Harl for melee, you know? We haven't seen them in a while, but... There they are. They heard me coming. They heard me calling. To be exact. Uh, I don't see any ammo. Uh, the melee guys obviously take more uh, hits, so... It's really nice if I could find ammo. Ammo. More electricity. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't know where it was coming from, cause uh, it took me a while before I saw him. Have the reactions of a dead cat. <laughs> Man, this is cool. This is just um, every single horror game needs to be like this. Fun. <laughs> You know I can see your silhouette, right, buddy? Even if my flashlight doesn't reach you, I still see your silhouette. Oh yeah, we've been here before, too. Seems like there is an elevator or... Well, it's just a, a shaft, I guess. Just a... Yeah. It's a place where you fall and die. Did I just pick up ammo even though I... By the way, did you see what they wanted me to do? I take this... Whoa! Jump scare! Whoa! And then, you know, I go back and I don't look and I fall down. That was the design of that, but I've already acknowledged this hole. You can make me fall through it. Oh, there is a lot of weed down there. Well, I guess I'll take it. Um, I also need some ammo. Whatever. I saw you! I saw you running across, buddy. Like, I I didn't imagine it. I saw you running across. I saw you running across over- Oh, I see another one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, maybe I should backtrack a tiny bit, look for some ammo, because I just wasted a whole bunch. Um, there it is. Okay. I, I think we're good for now. Let me reload my gun. All right. But damn, it seems like we're almost out of here. Oh, it's just electricity. I thought I heard somebody else running. I'll just hog the wall. Don't mind me. I think I see somebody. Okay. More ammo. I'll take it whenever I... Uh, I go into engagement. He's dead. Alright. So yeah. Do you guys want to see me play more survival horror games, I wonder? Um... I don't really have a lot of time, but I have been thinking... 
as I was saying, I don't have a ton of time, but I've been thinking since we have done the Rule of Rose playthrough and the Clock Tower playthrough, you guys really like those. I thought, what if I play Fatal Frame? You know, just a full full playthrough Fatal Frame kind of deal. Ba uh, man, how, l how, how long is this? Didn't I already, like, is this new? I can tell. Like, you think I'm not gonna check my corner? Just because there's an enemy over there doesn't, doesn't mean that this corner is clean, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. But it seems like y'all lack the skills to back up your um, trash talk. Honestly, I don't think I've been trash talked by a pony before, but... I just, I just like, uh, you know... What kind of strategy was that? It was panic mode. Alright. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. This door is locked. Um, I should probably go back and look for ammo. Frankly. Never mind, it seems like I've actually made it outside. I legit just made it outside. Okay, cool. Um, again, I'm not sure if headshots count in this game, but then again, it really it's really hard to get headshots. In this game, they move really fast. Doesn't matter if you, he's a shooter or a melee we guy. They just go fast and hard on you. All right. The man smiled as he walked through the abandoned parking lot away from the pony factory. He'd found uh, found and stolen the source of the pony magic and escaped with his life. He'd done that what others thought impossible. And now he would succeed where his father failed. With the power of hell at his fingertips, he would create his own pony army, far larger and greater. All he needed were victims to transform and a factory in which to do it. Hell had planned all this, and it smiled too, in anticipation of what was to come. Wait, you tell me they they were like, oh yeah, I see this coming. You know what, I'll just team up with you and say I'm a winner too, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like playing a Rocket League game and then before losing, switching to the other team. <laughs> so, so you were technically winning. I didn't do that before, by the way. Why, why would I do that? Um... I'm gonna play more of Dress X collection games. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. Um, there will be a video card to take you to another Dread X video game. I'll see you some other time. Bye.